It's hard to die for liberty. Harder still to live for it. But the man who does both, that's the epitome of courage. So here's to you, Lavoy. And here's what's happening, America, down in Oregon and across this nation. It just keeps getting worse. So now the judge, Judge Anna Brown, the terrorist judge of no lawful authority, not because of some strange conspiracy theory, but because she is wholly outside the boundaries of the law and the Constitution. Now she's ruled, she's made a ruling saying that Ryan Bundy cannot represent himself. You heard right. Ryan Bundy isn't allowed to represent himself. See, here's what they don't like. In, in this ruling that they released, where Judge Brown talks about why Ammon shouldn't be allowed to represent himself, she says things like he's in open defiance of the court and he's abusing the dignity of the courtroom. Here's a quote. Permitting Ryan Bundy to continue to represent himself would create an unacceptable risk that he would continue to flout the court's orders, further impede the administration of justice in these proceedings. What administration of justice? There's no administration of justice happening in Oregon. There's no administration of justice happening in our courtrooms. There's administration of treason. See, Judge Anna Brown is engaged in treason. Treason. She is the mouthpiece for a treasonous government that has usurped our Constitution. And so when we say, well, we're going to honor the oath, we're going to defend the Constitution, that means we actually have to stand up, folks, because the Constitution is being invaded right now. Judge Anna Brown is reprehensible to the dignity of a court of law. Judge Anna Brown is a daughter of Satan. See, the problem is we, we keep going into these lawless courts expecting that if we use law, we still have this assumption across America that there's still some sort of law in our courtrooms. The law was gone in our courtrooms, folks, the moment they started enforcing unconstitutional laws. The law was gone in our courtroom when they started enforcing illegal gun laws and victimless crimes and illegal federal charges, when they quit letting anyone represent you in the courtroom, when they quit giving you due process, when they started rigging the jury like Anna Brown is doing in Oregon. The law is gone in the courts. At that point, as John Locke would say, when the magistrate exceeds his authority, he is no longer an authority. See, when I say these judges... When I say these judges have no lawful authority, I don't mean some weird sovereign citizen stuff or, oh, they have the wrong flag hanging in the courtroom. No, I'm saying authority is a matter of law. Authority is a matter of our rights, natural and God-given. Authority is in our constitutions. Anytime an official is outside that authority, they are not an authority. So sure, we submit to lawful authority. We submit to law. That's what I do. I love law enforcement. I don't love law breakers. I don't love terrorists. So you have Ryan Bundy, you have Ammon Bundy, you have Pete Santilli, you have the Hammonds. You have local incidents like with Mike Aspen down in Wenatchee recently. You have people like the fairs up in Okanagan County and Schaefer Cox and Jeff Winehouse locked away in solitary confinement. You have lawlessness all over this nation and we refuse to admit it. You cannot admit it. You haven't really admitted it if you're still saying, if you're still saying, well, most of the cops are with us, most of them are good. If you're still saying, well, you know, the, the judges aren't all bad. Listen, yes, they are all bad because they're all enforcing lawless laws. And any police officer that doesn't defend against that is by extension bad. Your sheriffs, even the ones that may be well-meaning, are complicit. They're involved. They're tools in this treason. Folks, the United States Constitution has been usurped. You know, it's funny because one of the favorite movies of Patriots is Red Dawn. Remember that movie from the 80s? Anybody remember Red Dawn? And the Russians invade, 
and people say, hey, we're in a state of war, we're being attacked, we're being usurped, and they fight back. And it's, it's kind of a sad story, and they win in the end, but, but there's a lot of loss. Folks, it's happening. It's just in our minds, it's easy to accept if a foreign invader, if, if Russians or if Muslims or something like that are invading and taking over, right? But it's our own government, folks. Our own government is the one taking over. Our politicians are the ones engaged in the treason. We need to understand this. Ryan Bundy is being stripped of even the ability to represent himself in the courtroom unless he can make a convincing argument to the judge days before his trial begins. And so what? They appoint a court-appointed lackey who not only is not prepared, he works for the same organization as the judge and the prosecutor. Friends, we need boldness. We need an appeal to heaven. We need divine intervention. We're not moments away from Red Dawn. America is Red Dawn, if I may say so. Our police kill a thousand plus of us on the road. On the side of the road, summary execution every year. I, I want to reference a, a meme I posted earlier on the Gavin Sign for Liberty page, folks. In, in 1776, the people, after about 12 civilians were killed by the police, by the Redcoats, about 12 civilians were killed. And they said, enough's enough. We're standing up. We're going to resist this because it's the principled thing to do and we have to protect our children. Now, in America, they kill over a thousand people a year. A thousand plus. Twelve hundred in 2015. And, and people that are saying they're patriots and that they're Oath Keepers, they keep saying, well, it's getting bad, but you know, if it gets really bad, I'm going to do something. They're going to take it out of my cold, dead hands. Well, guess what? They sure are. Because we're going to keep sitting here doing nothing, aren't we? Until they come knocking on your door saying, hello, Mr. Smith, and they shoot you, and they shoot your family, and they take your guns, and they will take it out of your cold, dead hands. See, the goal of standing up now, friends, to be peacemakers, the goal of being bold, and I'm not saying, hey, let's go out and be violent. No, being bold, showing up in mass, speaking out, a lot of this starts right here in our hearts. It starts with the admission that we failed America, that our police have declared war on America on behest of our politicians, that our judges are terrorists. If you can't admit these things, if you can't admit that the red coats are actually the bad guys, you're not patriot. You're not really 3%. You're not there yet. I'm not going to say you're a loyalist for that, but mentally you're not to the point where you recognize that there is good and evil. I think we'd be better off in these courtrooms to go in. Better off to go in and rather than play their legal games and make their, their case, to go in and say, judge, I don't recognize your lawless authority. You serve Satan, and I serve the God of heaven. I don't make answer to you because your only authority is violence and a gun to my head. I don't make answer to you, Judge Anna Brown, because you have no authority from God or man. You are a violent, satanic abuser of mankind. And I do not answer for the fake crimes that you have made against me because I do not recognize the authority of this court. So do your worst because you will do it anyways. And I call on God to judge between you and me this day. I call on God and appeal to heaven for justice because it will certainly not be granted in this courtroom. Now, people keep telling me, Gavin, you need to use these words or that words or say this in the courtroom. How about we try the truth in the courtroom? How about we stop pretending that these are honorable men of law when they are treasonous, satanic terrorists? Something to think about. So, Ryan Bundy gets abused more and more. And it's going to keep happening I don't expect we're going to see much in this courtroom. But you know what? There can still be a juror. We can still pass out jury nullification. We can still try and reach people. Because even through all this, it still takes one jury to throw, juror to throw a monkey wrench in that system. 
And so look, you want solutions? I'm telling you, you have to stop making excuses in your mind. The first step to taking over and using your voice for truth and for liberty and for good is to stop pretending that any of the evil is good. To stop pretending that we can use the wicked system to our benefit when it's wholly corrupted. We need a restoration of law in this country. Go watch my video about the forest. Plant a tree. If you don't know what that means, you should already be seeing that video and you should be sharing it. It's featured on my page. You can also get on my newsletter, callmegab.com slash newsletter. And if you want to pitch in, you can also uh, donate over there as well. Help out the people in prison. Visit them if you can. There's information on prisoners lists and how to reach out to people on my website as well. It's time to get serious, America. It's not about, it's not about hate and violence. It's about compassion and truth and love for neighbor. It's time to stand up and do that. Take care. And thank you all for the comments on the haircut. Just got that done today. Decided I needed to tidy it up a bit.